welcome to this week's recap of America's Next Top Model. So last week, Ray was eliminated. Okay, moving on. This week, um, the girls returned to the house only to find it covered in police tape. And there were also people in Monsters in Kazmat outfits going around the house. Um, and then Tyra was also there in a white jumpsuit. And she was basically telling the girls, this is disgustingly dirty. And when I was 17 and I was in Paris modeling or Milan or whatever, it never looked like this. So yeah, she basically said the house was disgustingly dirty and something needed to be done about it. The house was condemned and they could no longer live there. I know, let's reward these slobs by sending them to Hawaii. Okay, obviously every season there is a trip abroad towards the end. But really, this is not sending a good message to little girls who are watching this show. Like, oh yeah, be really dirty and sloppy and then we'll send you to wherever. And yes, I know Hawaii is not, it's part of the United States, I know. But it's not part of the mainland, so that's why I said abroad. I'm not stupid. Okay, so um, they go to Hawaii and it's delicious. And their new house is Humongo. And Jennifer's commercial from last week is playing on the TVs all over the house, bathroom included. So, Tyra Mail, if you want to catch a break, you're going to have to go out there and get it. So immediately I was like, surfing! And they were like, I don't even remember what they said, but it was definitely not surfing. So they meet up with Sophia Beshin and Buzzy Kerbox, who are surfers slash models, and they get a uh, surfing lesson. And then, after they have some fun in the sun, Jay Manuel shows up and is like, Okay, it's challenge time, because you can't, it's not a vacation. They're there to work. So, it's a photo shoot, and they have to surf in tandem with these surfer guys. And guess what? Balance is key. It's not easy to pose when you're trying to surf, especially when you're a beginner. So, the photographer for this challenge, Eric Adar, uh, or Ader, sorry. Uh, yeah, there were a lot of spills and thrills in this challenge, and the winner was Erin, and she won a helicopter tour of the island, which is very exciting. Um, I definitely want to do that one day before I die. <laughs> that sounds depressing, but whatever. Um, I just wanted to make a little comment about the wardrobe for this photo shoot. Those bathing suits were not flattering at all. I'm sorry if I'm offending the designer, but uh, I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. And she, Erin also got to pick two friends to enjoy the prize with her, so she picked Brittany and Nicole. And the footage from this helicopter ride was so pretty, and of course Erin was all like, uh, I'm happy I won it all, but this is like, I just want a concrete prize. Everything I win is like, not cool. So yeah. Ungrateful Biatch. Seriously, it's a helicopter tour of one of the Hawaiian islands. Get over yourself. So, next time mail, yay! <laughs> Sometimes being all mixed up is a beautiful thing. So before I get to the photo shoot for this week, holy sunburn Laura. She looked like a lobster. I have never seen, I don't think I've ever seen anyone that sunburned in my entire life. It was bad, and I feel bad for her, and that must have been really painful. So moving on to this week's photo shoot. Um, they go to this sugar cane field, and the photographer is Tyra. This is the first time that she's done it twice in one season, which is kind of cool because she can see the progress um, since the last time she shot them. And this week they have to portray two different races. Sorry, because it's common in Hawaii, e.g. Barack Obama. Okay, so <laughs> let's just go to the judges panel and then we'll talk about everyone's photo. So the judges this week, Nigel Barker, Jay Alexander, and Christy Hume, a supermodel. Okay, so each girl had two different races that they had to portray. Laura was Mexican and Greek. I thought her shot was really interesting. It's not a pose that you see very often, and I thought her expression was pretty good too. Um, Erin was Tibetan and Egyptian. I think I like her better with darker hair. 
because the blonde is kind of weirding me out. Um, it wasn't one of her best shots, but I just, I like the dark hair on her. I think they should try that out. Um, Sunday was Moroccan and Russian. Eh, the face. It's the same angle that we always see from her. And it was an okay shot. She kind of looked, well, not kind of, she really looked short, but not horrible. Um, Brittany was Native American and East Indian. It was a really strong pose, there's no doubt about that, but I still think she was a little bit overshadowed by the wardrobe. Because she was wearing the full headdress, the Indian headdress, I mean Native American headdress, and then like the sari type thing. So, it was a really strong look, and I don't know if she really pulled it off all the way. Jennifer, Polynesian, and Botswana. It was a really, really nice photo. It kind of resembled a National Geographic thing, like, she, she kind of looked like a little kid that would, they would show in a magazine, but it was a really stunning photo. Um, Nicole, Japanese, and Malagasy, I loved it. I've said this before, Nicole is my favorite to win. Um, I think she's the best, and she proved it again this week because she was the winner. <laughs> Alright, and the rest of the order... Jennifer, Laura, and Sunday, which means the bottom two was Brittany and Erin. Brittany is all formulaic now. She's kind of doing the same thing week after week, and it's just not good enough anymore. And Erin is self-sabotaging. She needs to cut the mental aspect out of it and just model. So, unfortunately, Brittany was eliminated this week. Sorry, Brittany. At least you still have math to come for you. <laughs> and next time... It's bikini modeling. Okay, so that's all for this week. Tune in next week if you want to hear about the bikinis. All right, so until then, much love and go Yankees.